Hey, howdy, hey, everybody, and welcome back to part 48 of the Pokemon Really Diamond Shining Pearl Let's Play. We're here in Maylene's gym. Uh, it's gonna be a little later upload today because I wanted to make sure to make. Uh, I know at the end of last episode, I said that in this episode we're gonna focusing on different Pokemon, another thing we could do, but we're gonna do it after this battle actually. And I was grinding to try to get the uh, capsule for Clefable, but I didn't get it, so we're just gonna go in with our current setup. Clefable has the leftover gonna be really uh really hoping it puts in work there um so let's see what happens and here we are against maylene number three out of eight so making good progress i guess uh what she got first hit on top nice the johto representation i am very satisfied with it so fable i think i'm a yeah we should do stealth rocks i don't know if it's bad or good to do it just to get damage off i guess because what if one has a sash I don't know. Um, but we're gonna do that first. Still Ninja. <laughs> it does nothing. Nice. Clefable's pretty bulky. Uh, at least I, I'd eBay trained mine to be bulky. So, yeah. And I gave it a defensing boosting nature, too. Forget what it was. Bold, maybe? Moonblast? Uh, oh. Is that a crit? No, it wasn't. Nice. We're doing really good damage. Thought about giving Clefable the, uh, the life ward, but decided not to. I was like, I probably want to keep my HP. Uh, you know, healthy and not lose it with every attack. And there we go. Not a crit that time, but we got a higher roll. Sweet. Oh, it was a crit. My bad. Nice. Just enough. Crit did matter for sure. And let's see what Maylene is plotting for next. Oh, after we get a, <laughs> a bit of our leftovers in Infernape. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go for Gyarados. Why not? Sadly, it's not a shiny one, I know, I wish. Maybe I'll, if I ever, <laughs> it's probably out of time to shiny hunt a Gyarados for this, uh, <laughs> this series, but, you know. Got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, trying to do other videos too, so. Don't want to invest too much time in a shiny hunt, like I did with, uh, trying to EV train a whole new team. Got a little too ambitious, uh, <laughs> for myself there. Acrobatics, dude, what, what were you thinking? What, what were you thinking? I didn't even have the Dragon Dance, dude. That was Dab Waterfall. <laughs> I believe my Gyarados is Jolly? I can't remember. Doesn't really matter, right? It's just an NPC. I don't think they're, uh, they're EV trained like I assume they are, so... Um... Maybe we'll just stay in, I guess. I don't know what Metachamp can do, so... Um... We have Crunch, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, should I Dragon Dance first? Ah... Oh, I just realized my, my my animations are off because I was grinding the battle tower battle tower for the capsule there. <sighs> okay, my bad. Oh, it's super effective. I didn't know that. I guess because it's still part flying. Mixed typing. I thought it was like still effective, like if it was resistant or like didn't bother it. But I don't know. This game has taught me otherwise, I guess. And sword and shield, but I didn't really pay attention that much to sword and shield to be honest. Uh, like uh, what is it? Like, typing-wise, because I was just, like, you know, discovering things as I went along. But for sure, replaying this, like, a lot of the mixed typing, I, I, I just thought it worked differently. I don't know why. Heracross, I guess we'll stay in. Is Bug good against Fairy? I don't I don't think so. What's good against Fairy? Steel? Is that it? I think so. Steel and... I think that's it. Yeah, we're still super effective. Nice. Keep using Stone Age. Like, it's... Rock's not good against me, though, right? It's just neutral. I, I don't understand what's going on. Flame Orb. Oh, so it's got guts. Uh, and it's going to use a four. <laughs> I love when they use a four restore their guts Pokemon. Uh, I don't know if. We'll, well, we're not normal type. We're fairy type. I think Clefable used to be normal type, right? So, <laughs> early agents, I'd probably be a little scared, but no. Nah. I think we're fine. Because, um, yeah, if you didn't know, guts makes it to where you do more damage. Like, usually. Oh, wow. Usually a burn will, like. Half your damage, I think, but with guts, you're you're better off. And who can outspeed? Yikes! Um, not very effective. I think we'll just throw guard jump. And how many how many Pokemon she have left? Because we could just outrage everything, no? Depending on how many. Oh, she had. What, what, I know Lucar Lucario is one of them, and we're choice banded. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go. We'll just use outrage, dude. I mean, I'm not set, I guess, but I'm, I'm just going to hit B, because, again, we don't have anything super effective, and if it's neutral damage outrage on everything, maybe? Breloom. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Won't be too bad. 
it's not like effective against me, I don't think, but same time, I don't have any coverage for I don't think any good coverage for fighting, I guess. I mean I have fairy, but it's just Michael Fable. And I don't know what happened there. Maybe it was just, just too low HP. Lucaria now stay and see what happens. Oh yeah, we can't go into Gyarados for Earthquake though if things go bad. Yeah, I'm already choice banded in, so. If I get hurt real bad, I think it's my last turn of outrage if it lasts three turns. Oh, it didn't. Yikes. Uh, we'll try to go. F oh, wait, I'm, I'm choice banded. <laughs> what, am I what am I doing? Um, ooh. A super effective Breloom. Ah, but like. Let's go for it, I guess. Hopefully, she doesn't do anything crazy. Oh, wait, but I took the Lethal away from Breloom, I think. So, sub doesn't gonna be an effective strategy. Yikes. And I don't have Technician. Ah, yikes, yikes. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we get. Oh, we can just uh, now that we switched out, though, we can free choice band. There we go. That's the result. Sorry, Breloom. I didn't mean to sack you off like that, but jeez, man, um, it gave us a fresh start on Earthquake. So, yeah, we're max speed, max attack, we're good. Sweet. That was clutch. Thank you so much for your sacrifice, Breloom. I mean, I was really hoping to use you, but ah, uh, I flash cannon kind of, kind of got, <laughs> kind of caught me off guard. Shouldn't have, but it did. And we beat Maylene, so we finished our mirror match against her. She admits defeat to us. 9,000, no amulet coin. Probably should have done that at least. See, I've lost again. Cody, you truly live up to your reputation. I trained as best as I could to become stronger, but it seems you've reached even loftier heights. There's so much to learn about, but strength really is still. It's not much. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. And we get a burning sticker. Very nice, so... Burning sticker B, not sure where it's going. Oh, when I'm battling you, Cody, I feel as though I'm drawing closer to the true meaning of strength. Please come back tomorrow and battle with me again. And yeah, like I said, uh, I didn't know that was a feature, but every day you can battle these guys. Just gotta wait. That's kind of cool. Um, but I'm gonna actually head back to Eternity City, like I said last time, to go ahead and show off another thing um, for you guys here. So yep, Eternity City, Eternity City is right there. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so back here in Eterna City, and we're gonna head on to the uh, mansion before. Um, I guess if you never went back and battled these guys like I did, <laughs> be a little careful, maybe. Don't uh, make any conversation. But here we are. Gonna cut down the tree here in front of the mansion. Um, I believe this is only post game in uh, BDSP and Platinum. You can do it through the main story because Rotom was in the Sinnoh decks for that game. But this is our first time in here together. I think I've already been in here off camera because it's my diamond save for sure. But, um, I, I'm not sure what wild Pokemon appear in here, and I'm pretty sure I went the wrong room, yeah. What you want to do is go on up here. And let's take a peek. Uh, one of these rooms has a TV in it. I'm going to check this one first. No. Oh, it is. Okay, so usually, I'm going to save here. I don't really need to because I've already caught all the Pokemon, but, you know, just for you guys, just a reminder, save here. And uh, bring someone that can do like status conditions. I don't really have anyone that can damage it because my Absol, I didn't put False Swipe on it. And I'm not sure that would work because it is, it's a ghost type. So False Swipe wouldn't work. You need something else. But we're going to spore it at least and see what happens. So, oh, can we not do it yet? <laughs> One second, let me check. Well, I guess it doesn't respawn, uh, respawn, I mean, um, because I've already caught it in the save file. So maybe it's a little later at night, but... It's about almost 10.30, if not already my time. Yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock here where I'm at. So maybe I just came here a little early, or maybe, again, it just doesn't respawn in the remakes. But, um, yeah. Fortunately, I won't be able to catch it on camera here. But I believe after you catch it, you get one of these really cool items called... Um, oh, not <laughs> my key items. It's a decent item called the secret key. So... Keep that in mind, and we're going to go back to uh, Eterna City here, so I'll see you guys back there at the Pokemon Center. Alright, so we're back here, and what you want to do with that secret key, I think it tells you when you get it. Uh, I, I could be mistaken, but I think it does tell you to come back to the Galactic Building. Um, and we're going to step in here. Oh, I don't have Rotom on me. Uh, I don't know if I have it in my PC or if I traded it off the cartridge. But you actually come back here to this bookshelf, and uh, there's a secret door behind it there. And it lets you uh, make your Rotom change, or your Rotom, 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 I don't know. I already want to say it. Change any uh, of the ones that you want it to be. I'm not sure what I would want it to be, to be honest. Because um, like, I don't really care for any of them. Um, hmm. But, uh, oh wait, I don't have it. <laughs> let me see, do I have it in my PC? 
go down to the search. Oh, I see it right here. Actually, it's yeah. Oh, it's level one. So I, someone traded me this because it's not a Pokeball. I wanna, I want the one that I had. Where's he at? Oh, my bad. Um, let's go all the way to the bottom here. Use the search function to find our. Oh, Rotom. My bad. And if I hit Y, it'll highlight any box that he's in. So there's one there. Oh. <laughs> It's too early in this one here. Uh, yep, there's the one I caught in this cartridge here. So I'm just going to switch him with Gyarados for now. Just a second, bud. Don't worry. And we're going to turn him into the fan. So we allow Rotom to enter the motor. And for sure. <laughs> Wait, is Rotom motor spelled backwards? I never knew that. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I guess. Wow. I <laughs> Everyone talked about Arbok and uh, Ekans, but no one, <laughs> no one brought up Rotom. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. And we get the Ro Rotom catalog here, so we're gonna check that out. Rotom fan has been added to the, cata uh, the catalog. Oh, Rowan's here. Whoa, okay. Ah, imagine finding you here. You must be eager to fill your Pokedex to be searching even here. What am I doing? I visit a professor I know in eternity every so often. He tells me I'm intriguing. Uh, he tells me intriguing rumors of rare Pokemon sightings and such. A Pokemon that slips into electric appliances, you say? Huh, that is somewhat off from what I've heard about. Uh, that's what I've heard. Long ago, there was a robot that emerged with a toy robot. Uh, should that Pokemon be recognized as a new species or not? Debates over the issue were about to start when they were rendered moot. Um, the very topic of the discussion of the Pokemon infused robot disappeared. Oh, okay. So everyone just stopped caring about it, I guess, or questioning it. Um, but we got the fan Rotom here. Very cool. Um, I guess we'll show it off a bit. Uh, not in nature, not great for that. So I'm pretty sure Rotom's a special attacker, but I could be wrong. Uh, I know Air Slash is uh, special. For the longest time, I thought it was physical. I don't know why. But it says I'm at a Rotom catalog, so if I sort them by type, will it? Oh, here it is. Uh, catalog device. Uh, catalog of devices that Rotom like. Um, oh wait. Oh, so we have to like, do we have to write them all down or just change them into it? Uh, sure. Um, oh, it just picks them up. Okay, so you can. I don't really like that though. I like them all being in the room, bro. That, that's kind of cool looking. So I personally think I'm gonna um, not save after this, and because I'll reload in front of the room TV. But I think that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Um, again, uh, I guess don't take them if you don't uh, like the machinery. I like the machinery though. I I don't know. I'm not gonna use Rotom. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. As always. Maybe like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share on your friends if you think they'd also enjoy this type of content. And as always, I've been the Pokemon Cowboy, here with you today. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.